This is a Nintendo Dad's first impression. Felix the Reaper is made by the talented team over at Kong Orange. This game is a shadow manipulation puzzler, and in it you are Felix the Reaper, and you are Death. Your job is to work through the puzzles and strike down death upon those who are due to die. This game is in the 3D space and you can spin and rotate around very similar to how you can maneuver the world in Captain Toad's treasure tracker. Only difference is the main object is to take people out and not necessarily get coins and rupees or anything like that. This game operates in a very dark space. As you manipulate the shadows, you will start to see the way you need to go to eventually kill off the person that is doomed to die. This story begins with the narration of the head boss of the Reapers. You learn fairly quickly within the game that Felix loves to dance and will pop on his headset and shimmy his way through the levels. As you watch Felix dance around the levels, you eventually find yourself smiling at his moves and it dawns on you that the character that brings so much doom and gloom to the people in the world within the game is bringing you sheer joy on the outside of the game. The art style is absolutely unique and has the hand-drawn look to it. The art style just jumps out at you from the start of the game. The characters are rather cool in their dark designs. Musically, this game is based on like a club vibe to it, but it's very low key and very subtle in tone and manner. Overall, as you work your way through each and every level, you start to figure out and you start to become one with the world and realize that even though you're supposed to stay within the shadows, you start to learn that like you can get into areas that you might not be able to get into by shifting the shadows a little bit quicker and manipulating them in a, a different way. There's some cool mechanics and some cool techniques where you can actually get in and you can foreshadow for no pun intended, to basically see where the shadows are going to land before you maneuver them, because the object also is to not get caught in the sunlight. To me, when I first started playing Felix the Reaper, I just wasn't 100% sure where this game would follow me, and I wasn't sure that this was something I even wanted to tackle. But as I started to push through, I started to find myself more and more falling in love with the game and just realizing that this game had a lot of potential to be a fantastic puzzler across the board. And even though I found myself getting stumped time and again, they, they do have the ability to get hints at any given time throughout the game where you can just push the start menu, it pops up and it'll say like, show me the next move. And you can click on that and that'll give you just enough of a hint without being too handholdy to show you like, this is the area where you should be, this is what you should be doing, but it only shows you one move at a time. And then that's nice because you get there and then it's like, okay, now maybe I can figure out the rest by myself. If you're asking me, I feel that Felix the Reaper is an, everybody should get their hands on. I think they'll enjoy it. If you are a fan of puzzlers, it's an absolute great game. I think this is one that you will definitely need within your collection, no doubt about it. Real quickly, I want to just thank the Nintendo Dads for giving me the opportunity to get a hands-on with this game before the game come out. Thank you to Kong Orange for supplying the Nintendo Dads with the game codes and all that stuff. Uh, I am Bobby, the Nintendo Guru. Be sure to check me out over on Instagram, Twitter, at Nintendo Gurus. And for now, that is all. Be sure to tune into the Nintendo Dads.